Hi Scorpios, thank you for viewing me today. I am doing your general spread. I'm going to get some cards right now for the strongest energies around you. If it sounds like something you are going through or you are feeling, this is your reading. This is how you resonate with people for Scorpios. All right, I'm going to get the strongest energies around you right now, Scorpios. This is good for all placements. Sun, rising, moon, and Venus. I'll be looking at your recent past. What is coming in in the next week to two weeks? And then love crossing towards the end. Strongest energies around the sign of Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you. This reading is for strongest energies and cards I need to see for Scorpios. What would you like to show me, please? Strongest energies around the sign of Scorpios. Anything else? Nope. I have truth be told under the deck. So right now I feel that there's things you're, you're, you're coming to a realization about. You know, everything. You have the book of knowledge. You're the owl. And I have it with Treasure Island under that. All right. They want, I feel, if you're going through something right now that you're starting to question, what is your Treasure Island? What is it that I really want? Or I'm going to be at my, my best happiness, peace. Let's look. I have soulmates. And these are about the people that are part of your soul tribe, your soul mates. The ones that, you know, you, you, you feel an amazing connection with. I'm not rolling into love until the end, but I feel with chop wood next to that, they want you to start to realize the, the important things in your life, the important people in your life. Because I feel that there's things around you right now that you are finding little bits and pieces of wood that still remain. You're putting that in the fire pit and you're letting the phoenix arise. And it's with the people and things you have connections with. I have go the distance and they have not for you. And it's with the never ending story. So this is what spirit wants to say to you. That if you're having a lot of epiphanies right now about things, about truths, and it has things to do that you've been dreaming of, that you wish for, that you want. Spirit wants you to realize that only have those connections with the people that are your soulmates, the people that will always be with you, the people that love you unconditionally. There's people and things around you right now that are coming, I feel, back into your energy to make you realize that there's some situations that are better left in the past and for you to go the distance with things, even though you don't know how it's going to play out with the fortune cookie. It says not for you, but how can we know what's inside that fortune cookie if we don't take a chance and go after something because I feel spirit wants me to tell you that right now you're going to your treasure island but first there's something you need to go after and take a chance with even though you're not 100% sure about it the never ending story it's like is this is going to play out like all the other ones is this how is it going to is it not going to turn out well they want you to keep going after it go, go after what you want I feel that very strongly and I'm going to look at what's coming in for you in a minute but first I'm going to get your recent past uh, the recent past is always the window to why this is here for me. Why am I going over here? Oh, right here. Okay. I don't know who's under these decks, but I have the sun and I have justice with the chariot. So I feel recently in the past, you were eager to get new things started. I have the page of wands under that chariot, trusting your intuition about which direction do I need to go maneuvering around everything and finding balance with everything in your life with justice. You flipped and a page of cups. Really eager, uh, new water energy, queen of swords, huh? Let me just see. They're going to keep talking now, I guess. For my Scorpio's recent past, why are these here in their current energies? Thank you. I always look at the recent past. It brings me right here. And there's always messages and things I need to see. Recent past, please. A little bit for the sign of Scorpio's. Just a little bit, please. Thank you, spirit. For the sign of Scorpio's. Anything else you'd like to show me? Recent past. Thank you. I have the night of love. I feel that recently behind you is you're going after everything with love. There's a lot of things you loved, you wanted to accomplish. That's a night. Five of pentacles, ace of pentacles, queen of cups, three of wands. There was something you still envisioned at a distance, even though maybe recently you've been going through some type of financial hardship and I think you're 
I, I feel maybe not like a financial hardship, but just a rough patch. And I feel that you were holding on to something that you wanted and you were holding on to it with love because you never stopped envisioning about something here. All right. Eight of Swords is sideways. Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands in reverse. Interesting, Scorpios. <laughs> you started coming out of a place of being trapped in your fear. And I feel that you constantly protecting your own fire energy. I feel recently behind you, you made you realize it was creating nothing but burdens on your back. Like I feel that you just started letting go of things. I do feel that. I'm seeing the last two cards. Three of Pentacles and I have the Five of Wands coming into your current energies. Five of Wands is people that you cannot be on the same page with, no matter how you work with them, no matter how you try. But I have the beautiful Three of Pentacles here. And you know, the Three of Pentacles is about unions. I feel that right now you're having the truth about things in your life that will bring you to your treasure island. And I feel that you are coming to a place where I would rather flow with what's supposed to be than constantly trying to make something work that isn't meant to be because you can't see what's inside the fortune cookie, you guys. You just need to hold on to something and it's about what you truly want and believe it's going to happen. Because I see Treasure Island with truth be told. And so I'm going to look at what's coming in for you. Yes, I am. Who do I want to use right here? All right, let's go right here. All right, let's see. Strongest spirit of place. Live in the moment. Spirit of place. Spirit guide strongest for my Scorpios. Live in the moment. I feel something beautiful. Strongest incoming energies towards my Scorpios, please. Thank you. What do you want to show me for the sign? Scorpios, thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Okay. They're all in the order. I shall take them. I did have a flipper or two. Hmm. I think. Is there one more? No, it must flip back around. All right, you guys. I'm going to put my readers on for this one. I always go by the pictures and how I feel. I have encouragement. Gentle Gardener was the card that flipped out in the center of the deck. I feel spirit wants me to tell you for you to be gentle on yourself and let things flow naturally about how they're supposed to come together. You got to go with something here. And that's what I feel with the gentle gardener. You got to be gentle on something. And I feel everything is going to come into new space. Let's just look. I got a lot of cards. I got the dragon's lair. I love this card actually. And they want to tell you slow and steady. Now I want you to look at the dragon's lair. It's literally frozen, but spirit wants to say, just keep moving slow and steady. Be determined to go after something. Be determined to get everything in a place of power for you with wisdom. That's what I feel. I do have movement. And then they gave you the talisman. This is telling me for you not to lose hope and faith and knowing that whatever journey you're taking right now, Scorpios, you're going to get there, but you need to have a very grounded vision of what it is that you want. You will attract it. Oh, sorry. I'll be here now. I have magic stream. Remember I said they're all in the order. I'm supposed to take them. I have wishing well, and then they gave you protecting your treasure. Never let anyone take away your dream. Never let anyone take away your hope. There's something coming in for you that you've been wishing for for a long time. And Spirit is saying, just go with the flow. It's the magic stream. Let the magic unfold naturally how it's supposed to play out in the incoming energies. Something beautiful is coming in for you. All right, I'm going to get a few cards. Yes, I am. I'm going to do the Rider wait, And it'll clarify why these are here. Oh, lovers, six of pentacles, and the emperor. With temperance, slow and steady. I never know who's under these decks. What messages, spirit guides, thank you. Do you have for my beautiful Scorpios about these oracles? The magic stream with wishing well. Protecting your treasure. Your treasure is you. To get your treasure island. 
messages for these oracles. Thank you, Spirit. What else do you want to tell Scorpios about these incoming oracles for them? Energies? Any messages? Thank you. Anything else? A lot of flippers for you today. I have the King of Water. Uh, that's... that's uh, and I have the Queen of Pentacles. And who's on my lap? No, oh, I had... Pardon me when fell. I like to play hide and seek. <laughs> it's okay. Nine of Wands sideways with the Two of Swords. All right. Um, what I feel from this, this is how I picked them up. It's how I take them. It's like it's time for you to decide that there's no point in you always being in a protective state of what should I do next? You know, they want you to lay down the wands. They want you to lay down your own fire energy and let the magic stream flow. They want you to let go of control of something here. But go the distance with it. I don't know why I feel that. Six of Cups, and I have it with an Ace of Swords sideways. You guys, the Six of Cups is the it's the connections that we've cherished, people we've known for a long time. The Ace of Swords sideways, I feel, is telling me that as long as you balance your heart with your mind, Scorpios, sit above your body of emotion, something is coming into fruition for you. And you're going to have the will and determination to go after something. And it's big with the chariot. Make sure whatever you choose, you choose it with love. And always have hope, faith, and healing. And you'll be handed a new golden opportunity to get you to the top. <laughs> They're all lined up. I have a victory card. And the last card they gave me is two of wands. It's time for you to move forward with something that you've been thinking about for a long time. That's what they want to tell you. It's time for you to move forward and you will have a victory. Don't anyone, don't let anyone take away your treasure. Don't ever. And they just want you to remember that movement will happen. Don't give up on your dream. All right. And be gentle on everything. Be gentle on the energies. Let it flow naturally because you guys have magic stream. All right. And that is beautiful. And you have it with the wishing well. Come on, Scorpios. That, that's beautiful. All right, go with the flow. Don't give up on something you wish for, but just go with the tide. All right, and it's all going to play out for a victory, and I feel you'll be moving forward. Beautiful message today, my beautiful Scorpios. Ace of Swords sideways, Six of Cups. I feel that you're going to start to see the connections that are important to you. And once you realize the ones you need to connect with and the ones you need to let go of, you will have a victory. This is a victory card, and you finished off with the victory card. All right, I'm going to get you two message, two message, oh, two message, two message today, two messages for you from my spirit guides. It always ties my readings together. It's never a coincidence. I'm going to do one shuffle for Scorpio spirit. Two of the strongest messages you would like to tell Scorpios today about this beautiful reading. Thank you. And then I'll roll into love crossing, but let's look first. Two messages okay. for my Scorpios today, Spirit Guides. If you can tell Scorpios anything today, oh, I'm going to do one more. Anything else for the sign of Scorpios? Any other messages? All right, that's, I got three. That's like, okay. I don't understand why they came out like that, but. So what they want to say to you, first card on my left is the seven of Gabriel, Angel Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, claim your personal power. Don't give up on something. Just ride your, ride your Pegasus, all right? Ride it in that magic place of anything is possible. They gave you the page of Ariel. Does it have the page of Pentacles? An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. Time to not give up. Go after it. And then the page of Michael. Page of Ariel. Page of Michael. Angel Michael. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contact contacts. Oh my God. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. Review contacts. Okay, you guys. 
I just kind of feel there's a big message in there for you that there's a lot of possibilities and it's going to start happening fast. They want you to stay true and committed to something. And for those that you do feel that are not genuine or have your back, Spirit is saying it's time for you to get on your Pegasus and ride. Claim your personal power. Uh, <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you for viewing me. I am rolling into Love Crossing. And if you are not dealing with anyone, have a beautiful day and wishing you all many beautiful blessings. And thank you for all your love and support. Thank you. Love Crossing. Pardon me. Love Crossing. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to ask for um, the strongest Love Crossing energies. They may or may not be all your persons. Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. Knight of Love. But I got a devil. <laughs> oh. oh. With the moon. Somebody's. Oh. But they feel a lot of love towards you. They're not. Oh. Why do I feel it's somebody who's got some addictions or something of that nature? Let me, oh, let me just see before you start yelling at me, cross watchers. Hold on. Love crossing energies. My Scorpios have been dealing with. Hmm. What do you want to tell me? Love crossing energies my Scorpios have been dealing with. Thank you. Anything else about the love crossing energies? Strongest, please. Thank you. Strongest love crossing. Anything else? Mm. All right. I was going to say no. The card that flipped in the center of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. This is a person who focuses a lot on something that... I almost feel they, they get lost in something here. Like they put all their energy into something, they, they get lost. They're, they're just, they dive into something so much. King of Swords, Knight of Earth, Ace. This is somebody who I don't, I don't feel anything bad here. I don't. I got a Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords, King of Wands, Knight of Earth with a Three of Pentacles. This is somebody I feel who really wants to put work into rebuilding something with you. I really do. I feel somebody's coming to a lot of King and Queen power. Hanging Man is sideways. Page Cups. Um, they don't want to be in a stuck position with you anymore, Scorpios. They love you. I have the Eight of Swords sideways. So something about this person and your, you, them, you and them, they still get caught up in their head about. It could have been something from the past. Five of Wands. Two of Cups. They, they love you, Scorpios. Queen of Wands, Two of Swords. Well... Two twos with a um, queen of wands and five of wands. But see, this person is a very fiery person, whether they're fire or not. And I feel that they're at a crossroads about this connection with you only because it seems like you two seem to not always be on the same page. You know, and then eight of swords sideways with the hanging man. Like they're half stuck, but they want to be free. Like they're only stuck because of they still fear something that happened, I feel, from the past. You know, this is what I say to people all the time because this person wants to rebuild something with you. And what I feel is that sometimes we need to get the big, um, the big obstruction in the room out of there, meaning that people will get back together because they love each other, but there's always a block there that hasn't been cleared up, and that's where all the problems arise from. So if we can get that block cleared up, because I think they want to, things will things will move forward. I really do believe that. But I'm gonna look at their intentions. So uh, let's just look here. Their intentions towards you in the next few weeks is what I think is they want open. They I feel like this is someone who definitely doesn't want to lose you. And they want to talk to you about something. Maybe it's about their uh, some some someone's behavior here. Strongest love crossing intentions towards my Scorpios, please. Thank you. What do you want to tell me? Love crossing intentions in the next few weeks towards Scorpios. Anything else? Thank you. <sighs> Temperance is under the deck. I have the Nine of Cups. Oh no, the Eight of Cups. Pardon me. Eight of Cups, Temperance, Nine of Pentacles with Scorpio. Listen, you guys, this is somebody who wants to put work into something here with you. They don't want to feel like 
they always have to feel like maybe they, I feel like it's someone who feels like maybe they have to walk on eggshells around you. They want, they just want truth with the seven of wands and new cycles will begin. They want to communicate with you. I feel it. I feel it. I just think it's something here needs to be balanced between the two of you here. I, I don't know what it is yet. Page of Pentacles, King of Cups in reverse. Because they feel that you always hold back sometimes, Scorpios. But at the same time, they're afraid of fully giving you something because why do I feel like it's something that happened from the past? Nine, oh, that's your energies. Huh. Because you had nine of ones, ten of ones recently in your past. Six of swords. This is somebody who... This is somebody who wants to clear every everything up with you. They don't want to have to feel like they have to fight with you anymore. They want something between the two of you to transform. They, they emotionally feel like whatever disappointments the two of you have had, it's time from coming out of a place of isolation, emotional withdrawal, and let us, let us reverse something new, Scorpios. Let us shed this old cloak. Somebody who wants more from you, but... For some reason, they're afraid of something that happened from the past. Now, I don't know what it is, but that's what I feel. All right. I'll get a few cards. I'm just curious myself, though. What do they fear? I don't want to, uh, I don't want to go there. That's a... All right. <laughs> Page of Pentacles, and I have it with Temperance in the Sun. Six of Pentacles. They want to receive... They want to start something fresh with you and they want to receive something. They, I don't mean money. Hmm. I have a few cards, Spirit Guide. I have to do one shuffle. Just clarify everything for me because I just feel like somebody who fears. What do, yeah, what do they fear? What are they afraid of? Oh, I know you're all yelling at me right now, but let's just see, Spirit Guides. Why do I feel fear here? Show me. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, the moon and the three of cups. What else do you want to tell me? Anything else? One more card, maybe? Why do I feel fear? Here? What, what, what do I feel? Okay. Huh. Eight of swords. Somebody trapped in their thoughts with fear about if something between the two of you can change. They've been in the hermit mode. They're in a lot of introspection. Nine of Cups, you are definitely their wish. I have Judgment, I have the Moon, and Three of Cups. This is someone who's trying to let go of something that happened from the past. I'm gonna let you know right now that they want a reunion, and it could be third party. I don't like to go there. I don't do. I don't really do that unless it's there's so many Scorpios out there. It's like this person wants a reunion, and oh, I got some cards here: Queen of Wands. Temperance and big Leo strength and courage. This is somebody who this is Sagittarius energy, but this is someone who's willing to make everything balance and blend with you, Scorpios. It's a beautiful Queen of Wands. You know, very lively character. I just feel like this is someone who wants things to progress with you. Now, if you don't want it, that's up to you. But I'm just saying this person definitely wants a reunion. They're just in a little bit in the next few weeks of been hiding energy of letting things go to resurrect new things with you because you're their wish, Scorpios. Just saying what the cards are saying. So what I have for you today, my beautiful Scorpios, thank you for viewing me. If it helped you and it resonated, please remember to hit the like button. You guys, wishing you all many beautiful blessings. Thank you for all your love and support and have a beautiful day.